All right, here we're rolling, guys. It is Saturday. Um, I'm at the old gym, and um, I'm hoping my GoPro is not broken, but it just like froze up. Let's see if it's going. Yeah, it's going. Um, I am here because I'm going to take the advice of one of our viewers, and uh, he encouraged me to paint the rig. Um, so as you can see, this is our current gym, and here's some of the stuff that came with the rig. See that teal bench? That is, uh, it's, it came with the rig. And then these dumbbell holders came with the rig. I got one and I got two. And then also, and I got lucky that this is here, uh, barbell holders. Like a dumbass, I left my key at home uh, to the new gym. So I couldn't get in there right now. And I came over here and I was gonna take that bench and just put it in my car. Um, Cause I wanna test out, um, you know, the, the paint. I want to see what it looks like. Um, I've been encouraged to sand it with about 120 grit um, sandpaper, just so you can scuff it up. Then I'm going to spray paint it, and um, supposedly it's going to help the paint stick. But uh, we will see. That's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to sand some. Uh, we're going to sand that barbell holder and give it a try. All right. So I'm going to load this up, and you guys are going to see me back at my house. <clears throat> All right, I think we're on. Um, so I've been working on this little thing back at home and take a look. So this is what's happening to it. It's looking a little shiny. Like you can see the metal. There's a bunch of rusted spots too. Um, but I'm going to send a picture of that to one of my members who knows more than, than me about, you know, this kind of stuff. And um, I'm going to see if that's too much. But I'm thinking, I mean, that didn't really take me that long. Uh, with all the members helping and then me using uh, the orbital sander, uh, I mean, it's something that we can get done in a week. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. So I'm going to keep going and then uh, we'll check in again when we spray paint. All right, sometimes I forget that I'm, uh, I'm filming this. So we'll take a look. I'm spray painting it. I'm gonna do uh, the top side with uh, this one, and then the bottom side after it dries, I'll do with the other one. Just kind of see the difference, but it's actually looking pretty pretty good. Ooh, it's hot out here. And then I think earlier I said that today was Saturday. I think it's Sunday. So if I said Saturday, it's really Sunday. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. Um, I watched a YouTube video and uh, it actually turned out pretty good. The spots where um, this thing uh, it, it rusted, I think I have to spend a little bit more time sanding, um, but I, I think it turned out pretty good. Look. So like this is the part there, see how you can see those scuffs? That's just the rusted part, but on the part that's not rusted, it looks great. So I, I think, uh, I don't think this is going to be an issue. It's actually, um, yeah, it came out actually better than I thought. So especially with with the rig, um, the rig is basically like a, like a box, it has one, two, three, four sides. Um, it's going to be easy to sand and uh, easy to paint. And there's not that much rust on uh, the one at the gym. So that's good. All right. Good morning. It is Monday, Labor Day. Um, I uh, made a post about having class and uh, nobody came at 5 a.m. My coach, my member coach, Linda, she came at 6, but it was just me and her. So I ended up coming here to the new gym um, and I'm going to organize and start to sand all of the uh, teal poles. And it looks like we have obviously four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten to do. And they all have one, two, three, four sides. Four sides and a base. Um, and then I don't know if I'm gonna put these back up. Nobody ever uses them. We always end up using uh, the wall for the wall balls. So we'll see. We'll do all the poles first. If um, enough members complain or we run out of room, which I don't think we will, um, I'll put them up. All right, let's get the sanding. I'm gonna time like one, so I can get a rough estimate on uh, how long this should take. 
Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Two minutes, 30 seconds. All right, so we got two minutes, 30 seconds, five minutes, 10 minutes. It's gonna be like two hours of work. So it's gonna be probably two hours of work, plus the spring. We'll now have a rough estimate on how long it should take. Um, yeah, it's just it's a lot of work. It's too much for me to handle on my own. I ended up uh, putting a post out to my group or to my to my gym, and we're gonna do this after class in the afternoons. Um, they have like 15 minutes to spare. Come, you know, sand a couple sides, and um, we should be done in one day. All right, that's the plan. It's uh, probably 6:30ish. I'm actually pretty tired. I stayed up late last night. Um, I have a personal training client coming at eight. One big class at nine. And then I'm done for the day. That's our holiday schedule. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'll probably sit here and watch some uh, YouTube videos, maybe take a nap. I actually might take a nap. I just turn on the AC too in here. It feels good. <laughs> and it works right away. So, I'm going to turn this light off. Bam. All right, and then um, I'll check in with you guys uh, for my personal training session. This is a Chucky Beat production. All right, looking at my watch, it is uh, 8.51 and uh, nine minutes to go till class. I am uh, I got most of everything ready. I'm expecting a big class, but we'll see. Um, this is our little workout area in the shade uh, in California. It's uh, pretty hot right now. So we're hoping to get this um, this workout done before you know the sun is over us and we're just dying. Um, yeah, hero workout today for us. It's weighed and it's a 1200 meter run and then they have to do some strict work and then they have another 1200 meter run. So I'm sure I get a lot of complainers today about, um, I don't want to run, oh coach, do I have to? And you know, we have to remind ourselves that that's just normal. Uh, don't get annoyed with that. It's your job as a good coach to uh, make them feel better. You know, I mean, that's part of being a coach. That's part of your job is a, uh, you know, getting people to understand that, hey, it's okay to do some things that you don't want and don't make them feel bad for not wanting to do it. But that's what I got going right now. I'll check in with you guys later. Okay. guys we just wrapped up I'm gonna go home make my first meal of the day and um, I've got to do a bunch of office stuff I'm gonna get the shirts ready I'm going to uh, probably buy some more sandpaper get everything ready for tomorrow but it's nice to be off and um, just really hungry so I'm gonna go home and eat babe if you just would have stayed quiet I, I could have edited that out but now I can't add out my tits is showing <laughs> And why are you about to sit down next to my plate? 
<laughs> what is this? This one is yours? I was going to say that's a little too much for me. This one is for me? Oh, man. I have to use that clip now. That's all right. They, they, they like you. They think you're funny. All right, guys. Um, it's like a Sunday breakfast for us. Chorizo and eggs, French toast, and then I always uh, cut up all of um, all the fruit. But hey, what's up, guys? If there is any guys watching this, if you guys want some tips on how to be married for long, <laughs> if you guys cook, clean the stove. Getting ready for dinner. We got my uh, goddaughter over, so we're having a porterhouse steak. Mac and cheese. <laughs> All right guys, so I went to Home Depot. I got everything. I had my key on me. I went to the new gym and I fucking misplaced my key. The key to the new gym, so we're not gonna be able to sand today. I'm probably gonna have to get another key made from the locksmith. Oh, I'm so fucking frustrated. So I'm gonna work out right now with this class just cause I'm pissed and um, we'll go from there. I'm gonna keep looking for the key as much as I can. Go, 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 go. One. You set. You got it. Stand, 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 stand. Good. Should be a two or three or five. Up, 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 up. All right, guys, it is 8.04, and um, end of the day, could not find the keys anywhere, and I searched every class, you know, when I had some free time. I freaking paid my coach today to be here, so that way we can, um, you know, he can help people get set up to do it, and uh, I fucking lose the key 30 minutes before the class starts. So just ending the day not feeling too hot and the thing is is that the when something like this happens you know it affects obviously my coaching um, because like I'm worried about it it's like it's in the back of my mind I'm thinking about shit what if you know somebody picks it up and and goes you know and goes around and opens doors and I just wasn't able to give my normal day and I feel bad for that I do I'm gonna it's gonna it's gonna be with me until I fall asleep for sure So tomorrow, 7 a.m., there's a maintenance guy here. I'm gonna see if he has a spare key. If he doesn't, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get the locksmith who, uh, who made the keys and I'm either gonna have him change the locks or I don't know, I'll figure it out tomorrow. But I do, my goal, my goal is to be inside that gym 
tomorrow. So whether I have to pay for a, another locksmith to come or what, but I'm getting a key to get in there so we can start sanding. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Um, for the member, or excuse me, for the subscriber who, uh, I think it's I am Eternity 777 thank you for, uh, for your comment and because it pumped me up, dude. I, I was, I was, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to ask for help. And then uh, your, your comment was just like, you know, you got to go for it. It's going to change the vibe. It's going to change the feel. And you know, as I'm reading it, I'm getting more pumped up. I'm like, yeah. So thank you for that because uh, it is going to look way better. And um, you know, I don't know if I would have done it without that little push. So thank you so much. Um, thank all of you for watching till the end of this video. I know it's it's been all over the place, but I'm just gonna end it, edit, start fresh tomorrow. <laughs> so please uh, give this video a like, um, subscribe if you haven't, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.